is this illegal? I don't know if what I'm saying is illegal, but I don't think I can get in trouble for it, right? Like, this is illegal what I'm going to say, but I do it. Oh, well, if you bring out a leak, actually, maybe I shouldn't say Hey, y'all, and welcome back to my channel. Um, So today I'm going to do part two of my back to school series. Today's subject is drinking, partying in college, which... You know, I don't condone underage drinking, but let's be real, y'all. It's college. So I want to give you tips where you don't die, where you don't get arrested, where you don't get yourself in bad situations. So let's just start off with the basics. There's a lot of statistics we grow up knowing about how alcohol affects the system and all that stuff. Well, let's just get to the basics. I'm not about to throw any statistics at you or anything, but make sure before you go out, you drink water you hydrate yourself because you do not want to be dehydrated and get sick and won't be able to go out and drink as long as everyone else and make sure that you eat something before you go out now i'm not saying have a huge ass meal because you will throw up and i'm not saying have a cracker i'm saying like when i go out i have maybe a slice of pizza where it's enough bread to soak things up but it's not enough to slow me down and make me throw up or ruin my night so make sure that you have something in the system and make sure that you are hydrating yourself, especially if you're tailgating because tailgating season is coming up, y'all, which is my favorite season because I love football, I love tailgating, but throughout your beers and all the other stuff that you're going to be drinking, make sure that you have a bottle of water because you just need to stay hydrated, y'all. And it's really not about to ruin your buzz. It's just going to keep you healthy. It's going to keep you on the right track because for like let's say for tailgazing you party hard throughout the day in the morning well technically the morning and then you're done because you're sick you're throwing up your stomach fills and not you're not able to go out that night which leads to my second tip take naps y'all naps are essential when coming to partying so especially for tailgating season because story background, um, Halloween last year was U of M versus MSU, which are rivals, of course. It was a game, and then Halloween was the same day. So my friend, she came up to my um, college, and we just, we were like, oh, we're going to go at it. It was about 10 a.m., because that's when tailgating starts. And we were knocked out for the rest of the day, y'all. We had our perfect Halloween costumes and we couldn't even wear them because we were knocked out. So, make sure you have your little party in the morning. Don't go too hard if you're trying to go out the night. So, take a nap. Take a quick nap. That's the thing. Take a quick nap. Because we took a nap. Well, we didn't wake, wake back up. You need to set an alarm. Give yourself time to recuperate. Get that water that I talked about earlier. Get some more food in your system and get dressed and go back out there. Okay, now when talking about going out to clubs and bars or whatever, make sure that you at least go with one other person just so you can have that safety system, you know? Safety system. You don't want to walk home alone. You don't want to do anything like that. And it's always just to go out with friends in a group. That's always fun. Um, second thing to that is always especially freshmen my freshman year we didn't have uber as much we had taxi cabs and i i, I remember this day so vividly we went out to a party and i always was taught to leave the party early which is one of my tips leave the party early so you won't be in with the riffraff or any fights happen or anything like that but my friends they wanted to stay to the very end and I remember calling all the cabs and no one could pick us up so we were stranded I guess we could have walked if we wanted but that was a long ass walk from down by the capital to back to um, campus that was a long ass walk so we ended up getting in well I didn't, well it was a stranger to me but I think one of my friends knew the guy and I was in the trunk Y'all, the trunk. And I knew he had to be under the influence. And I was like, Lord, 
I will never do no stupid stuff like this ever again in my life, Lord. Like, I've done some stupid stuff my freshman year. But learning from the experiences. So, from that story, number one, make sure you have your ride together. Make sure that you have your Uber. It's easier now because Uber and Lyft and all these other places. But my freshman year, we ain't have that. We had maybe two cab services. So make sure you have your ride together. You know how you're getting there and how you're getting back. And so you won't be stranded. And number two, leave the party at least at least 15 minutes before it stops. Because towards the end, a lot of people like to fight. A lot of stuff just happens at the last two minutes of the party. And you don't want to get caught up in that. You don't want to be where the cops come in. And you and if you're drinking, get like the what is it iud under influence underage whatever it is you don't want one of those so just leave the next 15 minutes because literally nothing's really about to happen in the last 15 minutes other than the slow dance because they're trying to get everybody out and if you try to go to the after party just find the location and go there you don't have to stay the last 15 minutes of the party that's just my tip i'm looking down because some of the stuff is written on here um, what have we gone through? Oh, driving. So, of course, no drinking and driving out. But this is for my 21 and up people. So, when I go out, of course, I I drive. Oh, at least this summer I've been driving. And, of course, you don't want to be the sober first person, you know? So, what you got to do is you drive. Don't drink anything at all. Because we don't want to drink and drive. So you drive, and let's say you get the party at 10 o'clock, even though that's really early, 10 o'clock, and you're there till 2 a.m. If you, is this illegal? I don't know if what I'm saying is illegal, but I don't think I can get in trouble for it, right? But if you bring an unopened, unopened, um, I feel like this is illegal what I'm going to say. But I do it. Oh well. If you bring out a leak. Actually maybe I shouldn't say. But let's say. 21 and up. You drink at the club. So then you have time to get that stuff out your system. It takes one hour to get like the alcohol out your system. For one drink. One hour per one drink. So if you have two drinks. Or three drinks. You have that amount of time. From the 10 a. 10 p.m. to the 2 a.m. to get that out of your system and then you're safe to drive in the legal limits if that makes sense. So you can still be responsible and have fun at the same time. Because but if you get do you feel like you're drunk don't don't drive y'all. Take an Uber. <laughs> so yeah. I was gonna give you my tip that I do but I feel like it was a little illegal and I don't wanna get I don't wanna get in trouble. But y'all I don't drink and drive. I swear, I swear I don't. So don't, don't think it's that. I don't. I swear I don't. Anyways, next tip. So we all grown. Um, my next tip is for, you know, you meet this guy. You're twerking on him. You're dancing on him, you know. And you're, he's like, oh, you know, I come back to my spot after. And we grown. You can make your own decisions. I'm not shaming nobody. But when you go with that person, remember they are a stranger. You do not know, you don't know them. You probably don't even know their last name by the interaction that you just had. So make sure that you send your location whenever you get to your spot to one of your friends. Let them know where you're going, what kind of car he has, and his name. Because if anything happens, they'll know where you are. They'll know his car, they'll know his name. I know it sounds crazy, y'all, but you'll thank me because I've heard many stories where the girls disappear or something happens that night that didn't mean to happen and then it's it's a big mess but just make sure that your friends know where you are when you're doing your business <laughs> i feel like these tips are really like i don't know now if you are um underage and you're drinking and your friend seems ill or sick please Please do not be um, afraid to call um, 
ambulance because there is a Samaritan policy where you won't get in trouble, where there's no legal action because the value of your friend's life matters. So signs of alcohol poisoning would be vomiting, your skin's turning pale, irregular breathing. Um, you'll know, you'll know, because you know that they drunk too much and then you see these symptoms, they seize, because I remember my freshman year, the first, literally the first couple days, someone died. And it was because their friend just left them and that's, that's so, that's so sad because you send your child off to college and they're dead. And if they are vomiting, put them to their side because you do not want them to choke on their vomit and then they die. But on to more light-hearted <laughs> subjects, the next tip. When you go out, make sure that you have a fully charged phone and make sure that you bring a portable charger because there's no worse thing than having, because let's be honest y'all, we on our phones half the time in some parties, we on Snapchat doing all this, that takes a battery y'all. You leave with 80%, you come with zero, and then you're stranded, if something goes wrong, you, you can't do anything, so make sure you have a portable charger, a charger, and a charged phone, because you don't want to be stranded. Okay, so this is a don't, no, no for me. I don't like to mix drinks, because I've done it. It gets you there, but that's not the place you want to be. So you, let's say, you mix some Hennessy and some Ciroc. You mix some Hennessy and some um, vodka. You mix some Crown Apple with some Patron. Come here. You're about to be fucked up. You're going to be messed up and not in a good way, y'all. I've seen somebody do beer, then Hennessy, the Patron. Do you know they were on their ass? You don't want to be on your ass, girls. Please, let's not be sloppy. We can be drunk, but classy. I don't want. I don't want to see y'all black out. Cause that's not even fun at that point. It's really not that fun. So stay classy, not trashy, and just drink, sip, shot all you want but hydrate and don't mix y'all it's the devil it really is that's all I can say about this tip so after a good night of drinking McDonald's and pizza are usually the only things open and those my friend are the best foods to eat because it's greasy it soaks up everything and I just automatically feel better I've never actually gotten a hangover before because I just drink and I eat, and then I drink some water, and then I'm good the next day. The only day that I've like gotten for real sick was my 20th birthday. Don't, don't tell my parents. But I was, I was messed up. Maybe I shouldn't post this on Facebook. But hey, y'all, I drink. I'm sorry. I really am. I'm 21 now. I, I'm not dead. <laughs> but yeah, guys, those are my tips. I hope they're helpful. Especially because school is about to start. Welcome week is about to happen. Tailgate season. All this fun things. And I just want everyone to be safe. So I hope you guys love these tips. And have fun this semester guys. Bye.